Throughout human history, people have made many technological advances, but there have also been many mistakes. So if you want to see giant oil spills, freakish nuclear accidents, and the largest contaminations of mankind, then we suggest you keep on watching. Here are the top 10 worst man-made disasters in history. So let's dive right in, shall we? Number 10. The Pacific Ocean Garbage Patch There are only five areas in the oceans in the world that are accumulating garbage. And the North Pacific Garbage Patch, or GPGP for short, is the largest of the five. The number of garbage patches coincide with the number of oxygen gyres that we have in this world. But they are created thanks to smashing that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, it's actually created by the circulating ocean currents in the ocean. So anything that is floating in the ocean is being collected in the middle. So how much trash is there in the GPGP? There are approximately 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic. And if you were to divide those among the population, every human being would get 250 pieces of plastic. If you want to know the weight of all this trash, then you should know that there's approximately 80,000 tons of waste on the ocean surface. That's the same as 500 jumbo jets. Plus, the area it covers is three times the size of France, or 1.6 million square kilometers. Now you know why sharks are angry and attacking humans. Number 9. Baia Mare Cyanide Contamination You might know it as the second largest pollution in Europe. What's the first? Why, it's Chernobyl, of course. And what you should know about this little quote-unquote mistake is that it managed to leave 2.5 million people without water in Hungary. The reason for this cyanide contamination is the gold mining conducted by Arol, a small company part of the much bigger Esmeralda exploration from Australia. There, they used gold cyanidation to extract this precious metal from the ore. But what they didn't account for was the cyanide that contaminated the water that would be released afterwards. They thought they were safe when they stored it in a dam near Bonitsa Mare. And the inevitable happened. The dam ruptured, cyanide water flooded the fields, and 100 tons of cyanide mixed inside water flew across the country, and it even made it to the Great Danube River and the local Somes River. Number 8. The Palomares Incident Spain will forever remember January 17, 1966. On this day, an American B-52 bomber was carrying four hydrogen bombs when it crashed into the refueling tanker the KC-135. While they were 30,000 feet above sea level, the planes crashed into one another due to miscommunication. And aside from the debris from the crash, the four hydrogen bombs aboard the American bomber plane fell on Spanish territory. Two of them immediately detonated upon impact, contaminating a 0.77 square mile area with plutonium. Three of them fell on Spanish soil, and the fourth one fell in the sea. It took the Americans 2.5 months to find it. As for the other three bombs that fell near a small fishing village in Palomar, Spain, they were recovered shortly after the incident. What's interesting about this event is that even though seven of the 11 crew members aboard the two planes had died, none of the Spanish civilians lost their lives during this incident. Number 7. The Persian Gulf Oil Spill The Gulf War of 1991 was terrible for a couple of reasons. Aside from the lives of the soldiers that were lost in battle, one of the biggest atrocities in human history occurred during this time. The Persian Gulf had been drowned in 720 cubic meters of oil by the Iraqi military. Why? They wanted to obstruct maneuvering, landing, and visibility of the U.S. forces on the Gulf. While some consider it to be the largest human-caused disaster that happened in the world, Iraq considered it to be a brilliant battle tactic, and it was great for the Iraqi military goals but the wildlife in the area suffered a tremendous loss. Some species of fish have completely vanished from the face of the earth, while the seafloor is covered in oil to this day. No need to clean up the mess you guys made. That's just how wars go, right? Number 6. Libby Asbestos Contamination The town of Libby, Montana used to be home to less than 3,000 people. This little place started coming to life once the W.R. Grace plant and mine came to town in 1919. They hired almost all of the local population, and life seemed to flow nicely. And what was the byproduct of this made? Asbestos, one of the deadliest materials known to man that's banned in most countries across the world. But the locals didn't know this at the time, and the mines and plants kept pumping it through their chimneys as well as cover their houses with this stuff. When they finally found out that asbestos was carcinogenic, it was already too late. The small particles of the material had seeped into every pore of its residents, and what happened as a result of this? Around 200 locals died of asbestos poisoning, 
and the rest developed numerous diseases all related to this stuff. Currently, there are warning signs across the country advising tourists to stay away. It's still a hazardous place. Number 5. Castle Bravo And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how America almost started the nuclear World War III. It was on the 1st of March, 1954. The Americans were in the arms race with the Soviets and they wanted to see who could actually make a better and more destructive nuclear bomb. They called it Castle Bravo and it's the most devastating nuclear weapon the Americans have ever created. 10 times more powerful than the nuclear bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima and with about 15 megatons, this bomb could wreak havoc in places that it touched. That happened to be Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. 20,000 people and their residents were covered in fallout. When the people returned three years later, they were told it wasn't safe to live there anymore because of the radiation. But this gut-wrenching event isn't the worst part. That came when a Japanese boat came into direct contact with the radiation from the bomb and its passengers became ill. Now this is what almost caused World War III. Number 4. The Great London Smog What happens when you pair a long and cold British winter with coal-powered heaters? Well, you should ask this question in London, as they'll know how to answer it best. Namely, the Londoners wanted to fight the bitter so they fired up coal-powered heaters, thus increasing the amount of smoke emitted from the chimneys. Now add that to an anti-cyclone that gathered all of the dangerous particles of smog and you have a recipe for disaster. Londoners didn't even know there was something to be worried about, as they all thought it was foggy outside. So what was the outcome of all of this? Well, for starters, 4,000 people had died prematurely because of the four-day exposure to the smog and another 100,000 developed unthinkable illnesses afterwards. Number 3. Chernobyl Power Plant We know you've all heard of it. You might have even visited the city in your lifetime. So we're not going to bore you with the details of how it happened. What we're going to tell you about this nuclear plant meltdown are the devastating effects that it had on the population. About 31 people died as a direct result of the accident, 2 died from the explosion, and 29 firemen lost their lives of radiation exposure. The radiation caused cancer in the exposed population, and to this day, the entire town is off limits for the locals and tourists, and the city is currently a ghost town while deformed nature takes over the land. Number 2. World War I We didn't want to include wars on this list, but how can we forget one of the bloodiest wars in the entire history of the human race? For four years, from the 28th of July 1914 until the 11th of November 1918, the entire world was ravaged by the war. When Gavrilo Princip shot the Archduke of Austro-Hungary, the Serbians and Austro-Hungarians went to war, and the superpowers of the world followed suit. The Triple Entente, made up by France, Russia, and Britain, went to war with the Triple Alliance, namely Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Italy. 70 million people were mobilized, and 9 million of those lost their lives. On top of that, 13 million civilians lost their lives. The total? 22 million people, mostly men, perished from existence. And number one. World War II Since we included World War I here, World War II was a no-brainer. The National Socialist Party, or Nazis, led by Adolf Hitler had enough of the terrible situation Germany was placed in after World War I. He used the economic crisis in the country and became the Chancellor of Germany. This meant war. The first country to fall was Poland. It was the 1st of September 1939, and it lasted until the 2nd of September 1945, exactly six years in one day. While the German war machine ravaged Europe, major military powers joined forces and stopped him for good. In the end, this earned the top spot as the deadliest conflict in human history. About 70 to 85 million people lost their lives in the six years, and tens of millions of people died of starvation, disease, massacres, and genocides, aka the Holocaust. Now do you see why Hitler is considered the worst human being to ever walk the earth? And on that note, we end this video. But hey, what are some of the other man-made disasters in history? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.